Welcome back and joining us to put the day's markets action into perspective is Caroline Kremen from Advice Works. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Caroline. What have you made of the buying and selling action that we have seen on the JSC today, seeing that there are quite a few divergences in when you look at the different indexes and stocks? Yeah, I, I think, you know, some of the things that have been really kind of depressing, you know, being kind of built up a little bit and, and some of the things that have actually kind of run a bit of a flip come down. And I think that's, that's really, it's, it's mirroring kind of what we're seeing overseas. You yeah. know, it, it, again, we're taking our lead from from what is happening offshore and what is happening offshore is that we don't have an imminent Fed meeting, which is yeah. always markets for markets. <laughs> so people don't start to panic. You know, the panic happened two weeks ago and, and um and, and now people can really kind of concentrate on just real things that they should be concentrating on, i.e. company earnings. And, mm. and it's very nice not to have these exogenous, you know, economic factors kind of throwing the spanner into the works when you're actually trying to look, look at the markets. So I think right now, you know, the market is kind of settling into probably a more normalized routine, mm. one hopes, yeah. for the next few weeks until we have the next Fed meeting. Ah, all right, all right. Well, let's get into some... Uh, company news that came out of the JSC. Let's start off with gold fields because that was quite an interesting mm -hmm. one. Uh, mm -hmm. We did see that share price slumping about 7% at some point. It released a quarterly uh, operational update uh, talking about uh, lower gold production mm -hmm. and of course citing a number of headwinds there. And I actually wasn't quite sure if the share price reaction was because investors were just not sold on that operational update or if it was just caught in a negative sentiment towards gold at the moment so i so i think this is a, what i'm saying is people are concentrating on the underlying numbers yeah and you know if you've seen the gold price shoot the lights out and you know for decades it means that you know don't buy the gold miners you know play the gold price because yeah. the gold miners have physical issues and the physical issues that you have are things like weather or that kind of very kind of odd that it caused such a mm. such a large um issue um you know things like fatalities when they're fatalities they're not minor they have to stop part of the production um that's a factor and then you just see increasing costs i mean these guys are paying more for electricity they're paying more for wages there's probably a little bit more social unrest so now that you can forget about the gold price running because you've got out of control for inflation. Yeah. You can concentrate on those companies. The companies are not, in my opinion, great investments at the best of times. Uh, yeah, it's really, really quite interesting because, yeah, as you said, uh, the higher gold price, but seeming that that is not mm -hmm. enough to kind of... Um, <laughs> Yeah, to kind of yeah, soothe investor jitters. That. Yeah, yeah, indeed. People well, that. Uh, let's get into talking about uh, jitters. Uh, I don't know exactly what the sentiment is towards the car market. Uh, combined Motor Holdings came out with uh, year-end results. Uh, their top line was up a tepid 3%. Headline earnings per share were down 12%. Of course, the share mm. price uh, reacting accordingly, declining uh, 3%. Um, I mean, yeah, just from just even the numbers that we see from uh, vehicle sales are not very encouraging at this point. What did you make of those numbers? You know, I was actually kind of surprised. It was one of those companies that you kind of forget is listed, you know, yeah, you kind true. of focus on the big guys, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, in, in the kind of mid cap range in South Africa, you do have these very good companies and combined motor holdings is actually one of them. You know, for mm. people who don't know, they kind of do all the dealerships, uh, Toyota, Volvo, all of those types of things. And as South Africans, we like our cars. We like our cars, particularly because there's no good public transport. Mm. So they do take over, you know, so to have increased revenue, I think in a terribly depressed economic environment that we have at the moment with people also very uncertain about what the future is holds. We've got an election coming up. For them to actually increase revenue, I, I think was actually, I was really surprised. I would not expect a business like that to do this. Okay. Obviously, hips are down and for all of those types of issues there. But one also forgets this company is 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 a dividend aristocrat. <laughs> You know, I think I think I looked, and I think the yield, and, and I looked very briefly, was thirteen percent. I want to go explore that more tomorrow because that's actually phenomenal. Okay. Uh, in, in this type of environment, it's just a pity that we don't have the type of sentiment mm. towards our market that yeah. you know you really want to go and explore those types of things. Ah, uh, all right. Well, uh, something uh, that uh, Attack uh, is exploring is yeah. getting. 100%, owning 100% of Mall of Africa. Of course, there's still, uh, you know, a few terms and conditions that need to be fulfilled, but that's what they're gunning for. Um, a move that's expected, right? 
Yes, I just expect it as part of their strategy and is an actually an excellent strategy. You know, they don't want to be, you know, playing with, with minority shareholders and then, you know, they want to control something actually from top to bottom and actually run it properly. Um, the mall is, a, is quite a, you know, there've been a lot of retail company companies who are really struggling at the moment. We, we, we know who they are. And, you know, these guys, as you said, if you want to control our malls, it's in a fantastic area. Um, it's it's just a very, very well organized area from an infrastructure point of view, and they're putting the money there, and it's absolutely correct that they yeah. they, they do so because you know as as I think as the economy gets weaker, you're going to yeah. really find some of those bigger malls continuing to struggle, and the guys who really just stick to the end thing are going to do well. Yeah. Uh, so good move on their part. All right. Well, let's get to your stock pick for today, Caroline. What are you picking? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to pick Apple, and it's in the news, and I didn't choose it just specifically because it was in the news. I, I chose it, but, you know, because people, it, it, the sentiment towards Apple goes up and down. And I think at the moment, the sentiment is a bit down. You know, we've seen what Warren Buffett sell it. We've seen, you know, fines in the EU. We've seen chatter about this, that, and the next thing. People need to remember this is the, one of the biggest, five biggest companies in the world. It might, it's moat might be smaller, but it is still quite significant. And it has got a lot of cash to pay, pay with. It's recently announced the biggest share buyback in history. I'm not a fan of share buybacks per se, but you know, I'll take it when, when, when they give it to me. Yeah. Um, they're investing in AI. They came out, I think about an hour or so ago with uh, some AI development, hadn't had a chance to explore that yet, but people still be buying those iPhones. They still be buying those new iPads that they've got. But more importantly is that their services revenue you know the Apple Pay revenue is 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 growing, and you know as, as an Apple user, mm. uh, full full disclosure, I can see how they get money out of people. So <laughs> I physically experience it. <laughs> so when you see the share price down, and it is down this year, yeah, you know start to accumulate for your your long term portfolio because the company's still going to be here and bigger in ten years time. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for that and for your analysis on what has been moving uh, investors' money today, Caroline. That was Caroline Kremen from AdviceWorks.